What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to get this amazing inception effect fast and for free. Let's go! Just click the link down in the description, download those two effects, put them in your motion templates folder into FX, restart Final Cut Pro and we are ready to go. So now you can find both effects in the effects browser, just simply drag and drop them over your footage. Let's start with the easier one, Inception Effect, same world, which basically creates a mirror effect for your already existing footage. Just drag and drop it over your footage. And now we have this amazing effect by doing quite nothing except of drag and drop that over your footage. Now on the right side, you have this effects panel where you can adjust the whole look of the effect. You can adjust the position of the second world, like bringing it up and bringing it down. You can adjust the position of the whole image, like now I want to see more of the second world or more of the first world, just drag and drop it up. You can also keyframe those effects, but I'm going to show you later. And you can adjust the position of the mask to make it fade, fade out pretty smoothly. You can adjust the fade of the mask, how big this fade should be, and you can adjust the mask size. What you can do with this little slider on the bottom, it's the roundness, it create like this fish eye look, that it looks more like a second planet uh, floating above us. Just have a look how crazy this looks already. Let's check out the second effect which called Inception Effect Different Worlds. So for now, you see the image of a drop zone where you can choose your second footage from. So just click the drop zone, select a clip, make sure that the clips are in the same direction. Like basically the clip right now is just a, a fast forward drone clip and uh, the second clip I'm going to place in that effect is a straight drone shot straight to the front. Let's let's search for a fast forward drone clip, which is quite this one as well. Click it, say apply clip, and you are ready to go. Now, it looks kind of cheesy right now. The second world is way too low. You see the feather mask and stuff like that. So we have to adjust it, of course. Um, first thing I would start is position of the second world. Bringing the second world a bit more up than the position of the whole image because I want the second world a bit be a bit more in in the frame. Let's have a look how the mask looks. Yeah, the mask looks pretty good. And now, last but not least, the roundness of both worlds to make it look a bit more like a globe. Looks pretty good. Should we try it? Now let's have a look at this shot. It's basically just a just a quite easy flying from one to another side. Let's try it on this one. Just drag and drop it over your footage. Select uh, the clip you want to apply. Let's say this one, apply clip. Already looks pretty good. All right, once you apply the effect, you can also keyframe all the adjustments you made and of course you can also keyframe uh, everything as usual. So what I'm going to do is we hit the transform button, press keyframe, we scale all a bit up, Ooh, that was way too much, and delete this keyframe because we don't want to track it, and then we move the y-axis till we can see the second world again. Then we move forward where we want to see the second world finished coming in. So we zoom out a bit and move the Y axis back up to bring it back into frame. You can do the same with every shot to make it a bit more like a reveal shot. Now, let's have a look at the final result.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today. If you liked the video, give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and tell me in the comments what you want to see next. See you in the next one.